what is this? Pretty good episode 10. Is this video good too? It's now been 100 years since the worst beatdown between grown adults in the history of American sports. There is so much to tell. There's the dog that chased one of the players around the stadium. There's the kicker who caught his own kick for a touchdown. <laughs> There's the player who entered what? the game, took a snap, threw the ball in the air in a state of sheer terror, ran off the field and hid. And of course, there's the score. Wait, that was that was in Little Giants. I don't think that really happened. Somebody got scared. He threw the ball in the air and got scared. Beat Cumberland College by a score of 200 and... T oh, sorry. No, they didn't. <laughs> I forgot one. It's not real. That did not... I will watch this whole thing. Better to have died as a small boy than to fumble this football. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? This is dark! A creepy pasta about sports? I must know how this happened. I'm drawn in. 222 points in a game. Bro, why is it so well produced and then we go to a fucking... This is the worst... Ca when was this video made? Okay, never mind, my bad. 2016. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Nope. 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 That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. He's got everything else. He's got the blue Yeti, which means he's a professional. He has the audio dampening. I'll give it up. No, that's fine. Which means it had to score a touchdown every minute 43. Vast superiority alone explains Secretariat, who won the Belmont by 31 lengths. It explains the 1940 Chicago Bears, who won the NFL championship 73 to nothing. Mm -hmm. It explains the time UConn women's basketball took a 74 to nine lead on SMU. Those are routes, yeah, they're blowouts. This was an irrational, malicious act of cruelty that just happened to also technically barely be a sporting event. How do you score a game like that? How do you even get that many points on the board in the limited amount of time you're on the field? But first, let's understand where this malice came from. Spike! It's 1915. Okay. Cumberland's team, which used to be good, is now terrible. The coach is a reverend from around town who doesn't know the rules and doesn't approve of all the violence, so he makes up new practice drills that are more to his liking. In one drill, he has two guys stand a few feet apart and just lob the ball to each other over and over and over. <laughs> in another drill, he has them Good sit practice. in a circle and close their eyes, and he would place the ball behind one of them, and then they'd have to guess which one had the ball. <laughs> it was like an even worse version of Duck Duck Coos. That's a very funny game. I like that game a lot. I might do that. I might steal that for content. Just hide the ball behind somebody and have their team presence try to figure out who it is. That's funny. Unsurprisingly, none of the players came back after that season, and it was up to George Allen, the 20-year-old athletic man. That's some avant-garde coaching. Football. He figured Very that artistic. if the baseball team could get a little bit of buzz, it could sell enough tickets to finance the football team. Roblox. So he arranged for Cumberland Baseball to beat their opening opponent as badly as they could. The thing is, Cumberland players weren't good enough to do that, so he convinced a minor league baseball team to dress up in Cumberland's uniforms and play as them. It was an entire team full of ringers. Cumberland destroyed Georgia Tech. This is a Simpsons episode. They were hitting everything. After a while, they got bored and they just started bunting every at bat. And they still scored three more <laughs> runs just by bunting. Georgia Tech baseball was humiliated. And so was their coach. His name was John Heisman. Oh, no! Oh, no! Heisman was a great baseball coach, but he remains one of football's architects. Let's look at a modern day What have game. you done? The scoreboard shows the down yardage and game clock. That was John Heisman's idea. The quarterback yells, hut. Heisman came up with that. Then the center snaps the ball in the air to the quarterback. Heisman invented that. Then the quarterback throws a forward pass. Heisman invented that too. In showing up John Heisman, Cumberland angered a football god. 1916 rolled around and oh, Cumberland no longer no. had a football team. Heisman didn't care. Georgia Tech Cumberland was on the football schedule, and Heisman threatened to charge the school $3,000 if they forfeited. Dude, that is terrifying. The god of football is raining vengeance upon you. What did you do? Why did you have to poke the bear? Why did you have to make him this mad? Like, imagine imagine this happened in esports, you know? Just like a Valorant team challenged an, a league team to a Valorant match. They stomped them, and then the league team, like, has Faker on it. Oh my god. Heisman took issue with the way sports writers oversimplified. They figured that the more points a team scored, the better that team was. Heisman knew it wasn't as simple as that, so he wanted to rack up as many points on Cumberland as he possibly could oh, no. to show that if you really wanted to and your opponent was bad enough, you could score as much as you wanted. In order to save themselves a crippling amount of debt, Cumberland rounded up a bunch of law students, some of whom didn't even know how to play football, oh, god. and sent them to play against what may have been the best football team on the planet. 
What have they done? Law Law students? waits for the opening kickoff to fall out of the sky. He doesn't move. He looks to his right, where Edwards, the quarterback, makes a block. He turns to his left, where a man listed as George Murphy gets ready to throw another block. This is not actually George Murphy. This is Johnny Dog Nelson, the only ringer George Allen was able to recruit this time around. Johnny Dog whiffs entirely. Carney still hasn't moved. He's clobbered <laughs> right where he caught the ball. Oh, God. Edwards, who made the first block, is knocked out cold. Cumberland has lost its quarterback on the first play of the game. Oh, fucking no! What? Oh, no! What do you do from there? He's out instantly? Cumberland gains three yards on his first play from scrimmage. Three he yards? Four times he'll get past the line of scrimmage all Let's day. give it up. Three they yards? They punt on third down, and Tech scores two plays later. Wait, they punted on third down? <laughs> Punting on third down? <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I need to get rid of this ball. Get rid of the ball right now. I can't hold this. Get this shit away from me. Wait, 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 wait. They choose to punt on- They punted for 10 yards. I didn't notice that. They punted- They kicked the ball 30 feet. I think I can kick further than that. They punted less than it was returned. Okay. Cumberland fumbles on first and 10, Tech scores. Cumberland fumbles on first and 10 again, Tech scores again. By the 18th play of the game, Tech is already up 28 to nothing. <laughs> Everything is as it should be. Georgia Tech is a powerhouse. They were in the middle of a 33-game undefeated streak that lasted more than four years. Up 28-0, Georgia Tech has stopped at the one, but it's not because Cumberland stopped them. The opposite, actually. No. Tech's running back, Strupp Strupper, takes it to the one untouched. The Cumberland players actually get out of his way. <laughs> but then he downs it. It explains that another of Tech's running backs, Canty Alexander, had yet to ever score a touchdown, and his teammates like to give him grief about it. A week prior, Tech got to the one and handed Alexander the ball, no and then his way. lineman just moved out of the way and let him get clobbered for three straight downs, and then they gave somebody else the ball to score on fourth down. They were gonna do the same thing here. The Tech players just hit the dirt and gave up, but then for some reason, the Cumberland players did too. Maybe they were scared, <laughs> maybe it was some weird animalistic instinct, or maybe they just didn't know Everybody what to just do. That left down. Alexander as the only man standing on the field, one yard from the goal. This should be the easiest touchdown of Come all on, time. Come on, Alexander! He bobbles the snap, and he inadvertently boots it a couple of times before he finally <laughs> recovers it in the end zone. As a two-team effort, it's probably one of the dumbest plays in the history of football. <laughs> it is an honest-to-God tragedy of the highest magnitude that there is no video footage of this. I don't know. I am so fucking sad I can't watch this happen. They put down the ball, and everybody falls down on both teams, and then he starts kicking the ball. <laughs> Why is there not a movie about this? How is nobody taking this story to the big screen? See, back in the day, if your opponent scored on you, you had the option of kicking or receiving on the ensuing play. I don't know why you would ever do this or Wait, why what? this was an option. Wait, if your opponent scored on you, you could decide to kick or receive? Why is that an option? You always want to receive. What? But it was, and throughout the game, Cumberland chose to kick after being scored on five times. Get the, the ball quarter, away from me! 70 to zero. Coach Allen wants to catch them off guard, and he wants to do this by punting. Oh. He orders his team to punt. But in the huddle, they decide, no, we are absolutely not punting on third and one. True. They line up, Leon McDonald gets the pitch right, and oh, then no. rather than go to one yard for the Die. first down, he panics and punts anyway. <laughs> Bounces out of bounds, 11 yards downfield. I, be, I True, uh, me too. Me too, bro. Me too, Bo. I would shit my pants. If I'm a law student, I'd get the fucking ball away from me. Dude, the helmets were not good back then. You could have broken your spine. No. I'm not going against these animals. We're already down 77 to 0. You really think me getting first down is going to change anything? We might get six. Seven if we're really lucky. Fuck that. Did it at least go far? No, it went 11 yards. Team unit somehow overruns him. There's nothing but open field in front of him. He has daylight. Cumberland hasn't even made it to the 50 yard line <gasps> yet. A touchdown would be unthinkable. Morris trips and falls over a teammate at his own 20. His teammate was looking for his glasses. I think this is the script to the Little Giants. I don't think this really happened. I don't think this actually occurred. This was a kid's movie I saw when I was a child. First play of the game is sent back in. He can't really walk straight. He can't even talk. He is showing obvious concussion-like symptoms. He can't call for the snap. His impatient center snaps it anyway and pops him right in the head. Edwards has now appeared in two plays and has been carried off the field unconscious two times. <laughs> Just imagine.
imagine giving that guy the pep talk on the sidelines? He's, I can't. Where am I? Listen, champ. You got to go out there and do it for the team. We're only down 84 to nothing. It's only the second quarter. You can do it. Get back out there. Your team's counting on you. And then he just... <laughs> stumbles out there on jelly legs. Winnable. Winnable game. Between plays 44 and 82, the line of scrimmage never leaves Cumberland's red zone. For 39 straight plays, about one third <laughs> of the game, the line of scrimmage for both teams is always inside the Cumberland 20. That's insane. The 1916 team picked up 72% of all possible yards. No matter where you drop Georgia Tech on the field, they were highly likely to score immediately on that play. <laughs> it's staggering. I want to watch this so Jim bad. Cruz I want a time machine so fucking bad. I've never wanted a time machine more than right now. If I ever meet a genie, this is what I'm doing instantly. All three wishes. I want to watch this three times. The time this game is all over, he will have kicked 18 extra points. He bets his teammate a steak dinner that he can kick a ball through the uprights on a kickoff. But then he one ups himself and he turns on the Jets. Morris Gouger, while lining up for the catch, smacks into the goalpost. The ball bounces off his head and into Priest's arms. Jim Priest has just caught his own kickoff for a touchdown. No. There's no fucking way that ever happened. There is no way on God's earth that occurred on this planet. That is a fable. Yeah, that's some Paul Bunyan shit. That's Johnny Appleseed on the field. You can't, you can't physically kick the ball Catch it and then run it into the... That's Bugs Bunny shit. Coach Allen's team is physically and emotionally destroyed. Yeah. Cumberland is losing Call the game. Call the game. If that were a final score today, it would be the worst final score since 1932. Call the game. Allen has no choice. He has to go talk to the man himself. Yeah, apologize. He figures maybe Heisman will agree to end the game at one half. After all, Cumberland <laughs> held up their end of the bargain. Oh, no. They showed up. Georgia oh, no. Tech has all its gate receipts. Heisman does agree to shorten the game. By five minutes. He is a creator of this game. He is a football god. And a god who takes instruction from the god of the Old Testament. He is here to reduce them all to pillars of salt. He is a creator of fear. And of you. He will grind your bones to make his bread. Why five minutes? Of all time? Why five minutes? What the fuck is this guy's problem? What the fuck? Sometimes a weak expression of pity is the deepest act of cruelty. Yeah. No, that's that's much worse. That's much worse. Play 78. Oh. Johnny Dog fields the kick. Oh no, Johnny. He looks before him. All his teammates have fallen to the ground <laughs> in resignation. He staggers to the 10, and then he joins him. It's like electric football and everything fell. Oh, <laughs> Solidarity. Literally die. Literally die. But hey, hey, you get these football players in a courtroom, you might see a different result. Put them in the courtroom and maybe they'd be running shit, you know? Did you ever think of that? Not after this game. Yeah, I bet all of them dropped out. I bet this ruined several careers. That's a good point. I bet a few of them, like, could not argue for anything because all they could think about was this game and being demasculated by the fucking god of football. Demasculated? Is that- did I make that up? Emasculate. I'm so fucking dumb. I'm gonna go lay down on the field. You knew what I meant. You know what I meant. Emac emasculated. Emasculated. Neither of them want the ball. No, I will They keep tossing it, it back and forth, demanding that the other one take it. And the weight of a Georgia Tech tackler crashes oh. down on them both. <laughs> All right, uh, brief Poor disclaimer. I'm about to tell you part of the story that I don't think is true. You think the rest of the story is true? You think the rest of this really ha- I think this is like the Bible. This is- I, I think that a lot of this is to- You're supposed to learn something. It's a parable. Uh, it's in the book, so I'm gonna tell you about yeah. it, but- As the story goes, by now Cumberland is short on willing and able players. At least two players have run away and hid. Two more players have leg injuries. So Coach Allen ties their injured legs together and has them hobble along on the field as one man. No, he didn't. No, he fucking did not. He did not human centipede two people together to count as one player. That did not happen. Dark Souls boss. <laughs> but a really weak one. That's a pinwheel. That did not happen. I agree with you, John.
Madden boss? I would fucking kill for a Dark Souls Madden game. I don't know what it would look like. That would be fucking amazing. Some game where you play, a, you could pick a class, quarterback, running back. I don't know, but Heisman is Gwyn. Play 86. No, that didn't Johnny happen. Dog is chased around the stadium by an actual dog who has wandered in from the stands. Sure, why not? If you're a regular viewer, you'll probably remember this little what? guy. All I can conclude is that in the early 20th century, wild dogs were everywhere. I guess. I, I guess that's why we had to build stadiums. We needed something to stop these fucking dogs from stopping our game constantly. At least buy a ticket. Point after attempt that follows is poetry. If Cumberland just lets this extra point sail through, the final score ends up being 223 to nothing. But they block it, unwittingly ensuring the precision of Heisman's revenge. A 22 nothing baseball loss is answered by a 222 to nothing unholy clobbering. I don't know how or why Cumberland finds resolve to fight at this moment, but they do. They execute what's known as the climb the ladder play, which has since been made illegal. One player gets on all fours and grabs the knees of a second player, who bends what? over the waist and grabs the stomach of a third player. A fourth player, Vichy Woods, steps over their backs and shoulders and leaps as high as he can. Die. Die. He's going to die. He is going to die. They. This is like a bring it on cheerleading routine. This man will not survive this. This is Vichy Woods' face before the play. This is Vichy Wood's face after this play. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is horror! This is horror! Let me out! Let me out! Holy fucking shit! Oh my god. Fishy! Fishy, why'd you have to do it? Why'd you have to climb the ladder, Vishy? Why'd you climb the ladder, Vishy? Oh. Man. Close game. Close game. Total offense, negative 33. They didn't pass once. They didn't pass one time. They didn't pass the ball one time. That's funny. Good movie. Good movie. Dude, I got to bring this guy into the rotation. I got to watch more of these. We're going to watch more of these on stream in the future. These are good. But this definitely did not happen. Cumberland's football team was immediately dissolved and would not return for four years. Heisman made his players play a 30-minute scrimmage immediately after winning a football game. They won the game, and then immediately it's like, okay, that didn't count. He had to immediately play another game. Cumberland's law school was moved and sold to Alabama. Yeah, I guess it did. I don't think any of those lawyers came back. They're all gone. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. What a story. Those poor law students. They were never the same after this. They were changed forever. Dow Cope? Wait, what? Is that one of the names? <laughs> and that's where we got Copia from. Man. Poor guy. That's a good movie. God, this is what I'm saying. Smash needs stuff like this. You know what I mean? Like stories about shit. That's good. That's a good movie. It's a very good movie.